How's it going today everybody and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. Today I got a 2014 Ford F-150 with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Complaint is rough running and a flashing check engine light under load. Now a flashing check engine light just isn't a Ford thing. What I show you in this video can apply to any make, any model, as long as it's OBD2. Now what a flashing check engine light means is that the computer has picked up that there's a severe misfire and that raw fuel is being pumped into the exhaust system and into the catalytic converter. When this happens, exhaust temperatures can go through the roof and damage the catalytic converter, which none of us want. In fact, some manufacturers have the computer set up where if they detect a severe misfire like that, it'll actually disable the fuel injector as well. And when you scan it, it comes up with P0302, cylinder number two misfire detected trouble code. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to figure out what your problem is, what's causing it, and also some common failure points that could also cause this code, whether it's cylinder two or any other cylinder in your engine. Let's check it out. Now to diagnose problems like this yourself, you don't necessarily need an expensive bi-directional scan tool like this. In fact, I picked this one up off of Amazon quite a few years ago and been super happy with it. It's a Bluetooth OBD scan tool called Blue Driver. Basically you just buy the unit, download the app on your phone or tablet, and you can read clear codes check readiness monitors, get all sorts of information. I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video if you're interested. And at the end of the video, I'll plug it in to show you the basics of it. Well, stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video. So on these 3.5 liter EcoBoosts, the cylinder layout, starting on the passenger side front is one, two, three. Off to the driver's side is four, five, six. So let's get this engine cover off and have a look. Doing that's quite easy. Just take the oil cap off. Lift up the cover. Pull it out of the way. And put your oil cap back on. You don't want anything falling in there. It's not the engine covers off. You can see here are your coils. Cylinder one, two, three. Looks like someone's been here before. They've already been numbered something else. So someone's been uh, switching them around here. But coils are interchangeable from cylinder to cylinder, so that's no big deal. So cylinder two is the middle one. I'll show you how to pull the coil, pull the plug, and show you what to look for to see if it's an ignition misfire. So undo these electrical connectors. There's that little red lock. Just gently, gently pry that down. Press the tab and wiggle your connector free. Tuck it out of the way. Next, you want to take out this 8 millimeter bolt and then you can pull your coil straight out. So now before I go pulling spark plugs out, I always blow out the area. After all, pull that plug out, the last thing you want is debris falling down inside the engine. So now you can go ahead, put your spark plug socket with an extension, and then crack the spark plug free. Unthread the spark plug and pull it out of the well. Once you got your spark plug out, you want to take a look at your gap, take a look at the electrode, make sure nothing's fouled up. The color, nice and tan, looks like it's not too bad. And then look at the porcelain on the white part, particularly. Rotate it around, 
look for any cracks. If there's a crack, you'll see like black tracing. This one seems to look okay. Now same thing with your coil. Sometimes what happens is the spark energy will leak through the body of the coil or the boot and you'll see kind of like pencil looking type of lines. This as well seems to look okay. Now a quick check to see if there's a problem internal to the coil is swap it with another cylinder. So what I'm gonna do is switch a coil from cylinder one, disregard that six, this is actually cylinder one, and then I'll take it for another drive. And if our misfire moves to cylinder number one, then we know the coil is our problem. Okay, now I've got the two coils swapped. Clean up my tools and take it for a test drive and see what we got. Okay, our check engine light's flashing again, and we're running noticeably rough. Let's see what the scan tool has to say. Our misfire has now moved from cylinder two to cylinder number one. So this truck definitely needs a coil. Well, the customer decided to do all six plugs and coils, which makes sense, because if one coil's on its way out, chances are the other ones aren't too far along. And this way, he only has to pay the diagnostic once. So I'm going to install all these, clear the codes, take it for a test drive, rescan it, and we'll see how things work out. Now I got all six coils and plugs in. Now before you go troubleshooting stuff, if you have a misfire or any kind of check engine light, pull the engine cover off, take a look at your wiring. A lot of times you'll get rodents in here chewing stuff away. So just take a look at the wires, see if you can see evidence of chewing. That might be your problem. Those things like to get in your engine compartment and just chew everything up, cause all sorts of issues. So now I'm gonna accelerate hard and see if this flashing check engine light comes on. Now just to clarify, I'm in an empty industrial parking lot on private property. Uh, do not use your cell phone while you're driving. Be safe and keep your attention on the road, not on your phone. Well. Let's put our foot into it and see what happens. Much, much better. Accelerates better, runs smoother, and no flashing check engine light. So I've taken it for a good long test drive. We'll rescan it, see if there's any trouble codes. No codes present. But I always like to check pending codes as well. That'll tell you if anything's coming up but hasn't been triggered yet. And there's no codes present there either. Well, I think we got our misfire and our flashing check engine light figured out. Now this misfire happened to be caused by an ignition problem. You know, misfires can be caused by other issues too. You can have, you know, fuel supply issues, bad injectors, or even engine mechanical problems like low compression, stuff like that. Hit that subscribe button as, uh, as I come across vehicles with other issues like that, I'll be sure to make videos and post them. Now this blue driver is super easy to use. Like I said, basically buy this. Comes with your OBD2 plug-in. Download the app to whatever tablet or phone you want to use. And you just plug it in to your diagnostic connector. Like I said earlier, you can read codes, clear codes, save reports, look at freeze frame data, do a smog check, get mode six data, some vehicle info, some service information. You can update your sensor. Yeah, it's super user friendly. Let's try reading some codes. Just hit read codes. You can scan the vehicle. You can do all modules. Let's just do check engine light. Let's 
and came up. No codes found. You can continue. If you go vehicle info, it gets you all sorts of stuff. You got vehicle specifications, maintenance schedule, even service bulletins. For whatever system you're looking at, you know, for just a Bluetooth OBD2 scanner, this does more than I thought it would. It's definitely something, you know, keeping a vehicle with you. You know, you always got your phone with you. Do you have the app installed? If your check engine light ever comes on, you can just plug in right away and get a good idea of what's going on. Like I said earlier, I'll leave a link to this in the description of this video. If you want to pick yourself up one, you know, they're very economically priced and best bang for your buck for small scan tool if you ask me. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, entertaining, and informative. And I definitely hope the information in this video helps someone out there save a ton of money. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of them, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you get notified when I get new videos coming out. Just want to thank everybody who subscribes and leave comments on my channel. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.